So guys, this was a crazy weekend, man. One of the craziest things that happened was that a crowd of women was shot up. And this one gorgeous woman, man, 21 years old, was killed. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But there was 47 people shot, five uh, were killed across Chicago. And that's like a typical percentage. Another thing that happened was that we had another one of these team takeovers at uh, one particular area of the... It wasn't really the south side. It was like the south loop. Um, and they were kind of looting a 7-Eleven uh, over there. I'll talk about that uh, in a little bit too, man. But two people were injured. One was uh, injured critically. This was road rage, or it appeared to be road rage. Uh, we don't know what story was behind it. This was on the near south side on Sunday. This was on uh, Lakeshore Drive. And this was in the, like the 2200 block of, uh, of Lakeshore Drive. So it's like around Cermak and Lakeshore Drive. It was right after 8 p.m. Uh, and that's a spot that uh, if you were on my channel in the early days, I used to drive Lakeshore Drive a lot, but I haven't been there in a while. But this was around 8 p.m. There was a 37-year-old woman and a 26-year-old man were uh, in the northbound lanes. A 2015 Nissan sedan cut them off in traffic. The victims beeped at the Nissan. But then the Nissan pulled up alongside them and somebody inside opened fire. The woman was shot in the neck. She was in critical condition and the man suffered a graze wound to his back and he didn't need any medical help. So police said that it appeared to be road rage but did not provide any further information. Nobody's in custody and area detectives are investigating. So I don't know who these people are. Uh, I don't know the identities of the people. But um, I don't, it may have been road rage. You know, it may have been something else. We don't know. Uh, what it was that but that's what the police said it appeared to be but just so you know on Lakeshore Drive um, and, and on the expressways in general there's been a lot of expressway shootings in Chicago and if somebody cuts you off uh, what I would immediately do I mean you know who you are and what you got going on okay but if somebody cuts you off you know sometimes that's like to box you in you know what I'm saying and I'm not saying that that was what this was I don't know these people but you know a lot of times that's that's what that is. So the main thing I would do, if there's an exit ramp right there, hit that exit ramp ASAP. If not, fall back, like hit the brakes, treat, treat it like what it is. If somebody's cutting me off, I don't know if the car had tinted windows or what, but um, if it's a car that I recognize. A few hours before that, there were two people shot. One was uh, killed on the southwest side. Now this was in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood, which typically, I don't think that's really too bad of a neighborhood. This is over by like 64th and Albany. So you hear 64th, you know, a lot of people from outside Chicago may hear 64th, 63rd, and think of, you know, STL and Oba. This is way to the west of that. This, this isn't anywhere around that. Like, if you if you take 63rd, 64th, and you go, I, I would say it's bad probably until about uh, maybe Kedzie, maybe like Western or Kedzie. After that, you start to get, I, I wouldn't say it's sweet, but it's nicer. It, it's definitely sweeter than east of that you know what i'm saying like it's definitely sweeter than old block 63rd and st lawrence so uh anyways this was over by 64th in albany which is not an area where you typically hear a lot of stuff going on there was a 41 year old man and a 66 year old woman where they were hanging out on the corner a great colored toyota went by somebody inside the vehicle started arguing with the man before pulling out a gun and opening fire so i don't know maybe in person i don't know but police said the man was shot in the chest he was transported in critical condition to the hospital he later died. The woman was not the intended target. She had a graze wound to the eye and she was in good condition. So there's nobody in custody. We were just talking about the North Pole. I was just talking about the North Pole in uh, like one of my previous videos and we had another killing up there. So this was in Rogers Park. There was a guy, he was 30 and a woman who was 20. They were walking outside at about 1.45 a.m. over in the 1300 block of West Devon. So the 1300 block of West Devon is like one block west of Racine on, on uh, Devon. That's, okay, Devon is like, that's like the Indian business area. Like all the Indian and Pakistani restaurants, like the Daisies, they're all over there. I've done videos about that area. It's like, um, you know, every ethnic group in Chicago, they've got like their own little like neighborhood where they've got all their restaurants. That, that's it for the Indians and the Pakistanis. Now, the Indians in the Pakistan, they actually have a few more areas, like out in the suburbs and stuff. But, uh, like, out, out on D Road and stuff, they got, like, actually an Indian movie theater out there. The Indians are real deep in Chicago, uh, or in the Chicagoland area. Not within the city itself, but out in the suburbs. There's a ton of them, man. Uh, especially out in, like, Niles. This plains, very deep. Um, UIC, it's like, 
ton of Indians over there now. Oakton Community College, like a ton of them. So they're they're an up and coming uh, ethnic community in Chicago. It's been that way for a while. And typically they don't get involved in the streets. That's a very heavy Indian neighborhood. There, there's one Indian gang. It's called. It's like the Indian Stones. They're like a in, group of Indian Stones. I don't know if they're actually connected with the Black Bee Stones, but uh, the Indians, as far as gang banging, like aren't really on too much. If they gang bang, it's typically they're getting in somebody else's gang. But uh, yeah, there was some of them at Mather High School that were kind of like on that a little bit, but not really. That's right by Loyola University. So there's always a lot of students around there, but this was a 30 year old guy and a 20 year old woman. I don't have the guy's identity yet. If I can get it and find out if he was somebody that was involved in something, I'll let you guys know. But uh, 1 one forty five a.m. on Devon Avenue, somebody in a black sedan drove by and an occupants fired shots. The man suffered 10 gunshot wounds throughout his body and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. So 10 shots. Uh, the woman was shot in the leg and she was taken to the same hospital where she was listed in good condition. So rest in peace to that guy. I'm still trying to find out who that guy was. Uh, no arrests have been made about that. Now, an hour before that, there were nine women shot. This is the incident that I want to talk about on Chicago's ultra-violent west side. The victims were at a gathering in the 1500 block of South Keeler. So this is like K-Town. Okay, when they talk about K-Town, they're talking about the K-Streets out on the west side. And this is a very hot area. Uh, Lawndale, it's right up there with Garfield Park, Austin. Uh, it's like, a, there's like a cluster of neighborhoods out there on the west side, you know, uh, east, west, Garfield Park, Austin, Lawndale. These neighborhoods are all like on the level of Inglewood as far as violence and they're all right there together. Um, I had done a video about the game wars in Lawndale on my old channel, uh, probably a couple of years ago. And, uh, that video I did about Beam Team, Beam Team is in Lawndale too. So Lawndale is a very hot area. So they were outside at 12.50 a.m., which is a bad time to be outside in Lawndale, uh, over in the over at 15th and Keeler. And uh, this is in the North Lawndale neighborhood. A black Jeep drove up and multiple unknown suspects got out of the Jeep with guns. They began shooting at the group of women, hitting the female victims, at least one of which died. Her name was Kanisha. She was shot in the face and she was taken to the hospital in critical condition where she died and uh, she died only a short time later now check this out a 28 year old woman was shot eight times in the torso she's in critical eight, okay so they hit her eight times now this is a like group of women i don't know if they had any guys with them but it appears i mean all the victims were women a 33 year old woman suffered a graze wound to the stomach she's okay another victim suffered a graze wound to the right arm a 28-year-old woman, another 28-year-old woman, was shot in the right knee. A 31-year-old woman was shot in the left leg and the forearm. A 30-year-old woman was shot twice in the right shoulder and twice in the right arm. A 24-year-old woman was shot in the right wrist. And a 20-year-old woman was shot in the right thigh. And most of them are in good condition, but Kanisha died. And the one that was hit eight times, she's obviously not in good condition. So nobody's in custody. Uh, later that Sunday morning, an area four detectives were investigating. But, but look at this woman, man. This woman is a knockout. Sometimes it just blows my mind. I'm not saying that, like, you know, her life was worth more, you know, than anybody else or anything like that because of her looks. But I'm just saying, in Chicago, some of this stuff with these guys, man, I don't know if the, the shooters were men. Maybe the shooters were women. But, I mean, man, some of, I see the pictures up there, like, of, of the women that these guys are killing. And I'm wondering, like, what in the world is going on, man? Like, anybody that has any clue about this shooting or anything like that, you guys can hop in the comment section. But the majority of the killers in Chicago are not women. So the majority of the women that are getting killed, you know, it's not because, like, they were the one that, you know, turned up on somebody else. This particular one, I don't know. And it's hard to know with all these women there who was the intended target or why they were shooting up this crowd of women. Um, some of this stuff just makes no sense, man. It makes no sense whatsoever. And she was a mother too. So I don't know if she had a daughter or a son, but now her kid is without their mom. She was 21 years old. They said there were multiple uh, shooters. So, I mean, typically when it's like love triangles or something like that, it's, it'll be like one guy, you know, like the guy who's jealous or whatever, taking care of it. When there's multiple shooters, anybody can hit me up in private. Um, if you want to just, you know, leave your email or something in the comment section, because this one is really weird. Like there was no guys there at all. 
But uh, rest in peace to Kenesha. There was a guy killing him with two other people wounded in a shooting on Saturday night. This is in Auburn Gresham. And Auburn Gresham is one of the hottest neighborhoods on the south side. Uh, a 28-year-old man was shot in the face about 8 p.m. in the 7600 block of South Peoria. Now, that's not... Auburn Gresham is where Kill the War, BBG, G-Ville, and all them are right there in like the same spot. Uh, you know, I think one of them goes by Della World, too. That uh, area is real hot. Like 79th and Damon, 79th and Ashland, where, you know, 79th and Damon was where Ty Sean Lee was killed. That block is real hot. I mean, like, even for that neighborhood. But uh, an 18-year-old man was shot in the torso in this particular incident. He was getting out of a car, like, and a 24-year-old woman driving, she, she was struck. She was, she was just hitting the foot. The older man was pronounced dead, and the woman's in good condition. So details of the shooting were not uh, immediately released. And nobody was in custody. Now... A guy was shot on little, in a little village. This was on Friday night. And this doesn't appear to be gang stuff. It, little villages where the kings, you know, are beefing with the two six. But this appears to be something, like, just weird and unrelated. About 10, 20 p.m., there was a 61-year-old guy. He was in a physical altercation with somebody over by 26 and Luther. They both pulled out guns on each other. And uh, the man suffered a gunshot wound to the head. And he was pronounced dead. And, you know, again, man. I wonder if the gun made him safer. You know what I'm saying? They both pulled out guns. If I had a dollar for every time that I've heard from somebody, especially from gang members, you know, you got to up it first. Like, I've told them, like, he's doing the same thing. You know, they tell me, you know, they tell me, like, like I've heard from, a, you've heard from a thousand times from gang members, man, about how they're safe because they got their gun on them. And you tell them, like, the other guy's got a gun too. And then they'll tell you, well, that's why you got to up it first. And I'm like, well, he, he's going to up it first, too. Like, you, you guys, somebody's got to be second. You know, this thing never works, man. And typically, when it's like a physical altercation like that and somebody else sees somebody else up a gun, well, that's like the green light. If he doesn't up a gun and it's just a physical altercation, then it'll just stay fists. But, you know, if both guys are up in guns, then somebody's going to die. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know, man, if he wouldn't have had the gun, if he'd still be alive, if it just would have been a fist fight, or the other guy would have just checked him and then let him, you know, robbed him or something and let him go. I don't know, but rest in peace to that, man. But the, we had another one of these, like, teen takeovers, and this was only about 40 people, so it wasn't as large as a few weekends ago, but um, this has become kind of like a regular thing in the area, in the vicinity of downtown Chicago. You'll have these large groups of teens, and I don't know if they're coming from out south, out west, or where they're coming from, but they'll, like, flood the streets and... They'll be, like, attacking random people, like, looting stores, like, jumping on cars and doing stuff that um, kind of overwhelms the police force down there. Now, shout out to the guys. It was, like, some pastors, I think, who had gone down there, and it, it was, like, a group of, like, older black men and, and, like, church pastors that had gone down there and basically patrolled the streets downtown to keep it from happening again. And it worked when they were down there. But, I mean, there's not enough of them. They can't be everywhere at once. And this particular one happened in the South Loop. They said a total of 40 individuals faced charges after a large gathering Sunday night in the South Loop. Authorities say that a large group of teens gathered in the 100 block of West Roosevelt at approximately 8 p.m. And they, quote, became disorderly and disregarded multiple verbal commands. A 17-year-old faces felony charge of unlawful possession of an automatic weapon along with citations of possession of a high-capacity magazine. I'm not going to play the video out, but what I saw was just people looting the 7-Eleven. Over there, that was the only thing that I saw, like, recorded. Uh, but it's just a bad look, man. It's just a bad look, and I'm not going to go into detail. But, and they were getting, like, bags of chips. Like, they were looting bags of chips, like, out the 7-Eleven. Like, these are bags of chips that cost, like, like two bucks, three dollars. Like, looting that. I mean, it just, it's just sad and a bad look, man. A 15-year-old has seen a felony charge of unlawful possession of a concealed weapon along with possessing an illegal gun accessory in account of disorderly conduct. They were able to clear it out that particular weekend that they were down there. But, I mean, we just need more manpower down there, man. You know, the police don't have enough manpower, like, to just flood every corner on the downtown area. And these teens, there's too many of them. I, I don't know who's watching them or if their parents know they're down there or some of them don't have parents or what's going on. But, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's making Chicago look bad and it's making them look bad. Hopefully the adults, you know, some adults from the community will, you know, take charge and go down there and, like I said, help those other guys out patrol. Somebody got to put their foots on these shorties' backs, man, because, I mean, they're they're running wild and just 
like causing havoc in in like the central business district all the time now so anyways guys that's uh you guys let me know what you think though in the comment section man and uh yeah those late night gatherings are very dangerous rest in peace to that young woman and hopefully those other ladies will pull through uh all those women that were shot over there in lawndale hopefully that baby's got somebody to, to uh, look after them her uh her her child you know that's not without their mother i don't know what this was about but anybody that knows you guys can hop in the comment section anybody when you see a report i'm out